Hey, hey again. So I made a video just now, previously to this, and I just realized I didn't even share what I originally intended on sharing. Um, God's been doing some pretty cool things in my life lately. He's been speaking through me and he's been speaking through other people. And um, it really came about by um, speaking in the spirit, praying in tongues. It's a gift that is so powerful, it's so neglected. And I find that when I pray in tongues, I know things that is impossible for me to know. Um, and I'm going to start out with a verse from God's word about how um, even though that, um, I'm just going to give it to you. God's word is powerful and God's wisdom is powerful. And even though we are uh, limited in our human knowledge, the spirit makes up for our limited human knowledge. And he actually fills every void. And uh, I remember I heard it preached, another sermon by Joseph Prince. I found this super encouraging. You know how science says that we only use like 10% of our brains or one tenth of our brains? Well, in the gifts of the spirit, there are exactly nine gifts of the spirit. Almost like nine out of 10, right? The spirit makes up for everything that we lack. And I just found that super encouraging when I heard that for the first time, because I'm like, yes, I've experienced this. I find that my memory capacity, I have all the memory in the world. It's almost like my brain is a supercomputer. And like, there's even a promise in God's word that says, try me in this, that I do not pour upon you such a blessing that there's not enough room to receive it. And I've experienced that in my life to the point where he was giving me revelations from scripture so fast and so deeply that I didn't even have enough time to write it down. And like even the good things that were happening to me that all came about by praying in the spirit. God's word says, when you pray in the spirit, you keep yourself in the love of God. And so you, it opens the window to God's love for you. And you, you'll find that things happen to you because things don't happen to you by accident. You have God, you have his protection, you have his health, you have his joy, you have every fruit of the spirit. And last night he reminded me that the fruits of the spirit, like love and joy, that's like the two first ones. Um, there are moments in my life where I would really feel kind of grievous because I was trying to produce the fruits of the spirit. I'm like, why don't I have joy right now? Why don't I feel loving right now? Like I need to somehow get to a point where I am producing those fruits. But God's word says the fruit of the spirit is love and joy. So it's the spirit's job to produce all these fruit. You don't need to strive to produce the fruit of the spirit. Just rest, rest. You are producing the fruit of the spirit because God's spirit is in you. You don't have to worry about it. It's the spirit's job. Um, but yeah, here's the verse that I was going to share in the previous video, but I, I never got around to it. And God, okay, I'm getting sidetracked again, but God has, um, revealed things to me. Um, especially in the past day. And it's just, it's despite the things that I've struggled with, like I've struggled with doubts, like anyone else, I've struggled with fears. And yet he spoke to me when I was praying in the spirit today, because I've been on a business trip. I've really missed home and I've. Uh, really struggled feeling full on the inside. But um, this morning I was praying in the spirit again. I was praying in tons again. And I, I went from being really bummed. And like, sometimes I wonder like, was it someone's prayer? Was it someone's, was it someone's prayer? Was it the word? Was it just God comforting me? Like God uses so many delivery systems. He uses so many delivery systems for his blessings in your life. But uh, I remember I went from, um, being homesick to really, really happy and um, really giddy to the point where something that he told me yesterday about a specific person in my church, he told me to reach out to them. And it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, oh, I'll miss it if I don't do it or, or like I need to do this kind of thing. Like I wanted to do it. I couldn't wait to do it. I had the joy to do it because God's word says he works in me both to will and to do for his good pleasure. And so I, um, I had God, I, ha I had the word that God had planted in my heart for this specific person. And God's word says, he who prophesies speaks edification, exhortation, and comfort to men. So new covenant prophecy in the church involves edification, exhortation, and comfort, words of comfort. It's so necessary and it's so needed. And um, so like he gave me these words to, to say to the person. And it turns out that the person was actually dealing with a lot of the things that God told me that they were dealing with. And the word confirmed what God was already telling them, what they were called to do, that they had a great gift on the inside of them. They had a great gift and God has shown them great things and he'll show you great things too. He's already shown me so many great things. Um, God's word says, these signs shall follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will lay hands on the sick and the sick will recover. They will speak in new tongues. I mean, I'm kind of quoting those out of order. 
but these signs shall follow those who believe. They will speak in new tongues. And when you speak in tongues, you are proclaiming the hidden wisdom of God. The spirit that searches the deep things of God is revealed in your life and it flows from the inside out. And God's word says, we don't know what to pray for like we ought to. Like if we have a situation that um, just seems too hard to handle, like we don't have the words, we don't know how to pray. We don't even know what causes like the problems that we deal with, but the spirit knows the problems that um, go in our, that happen in our life. The spirit knows what caused them and the spirit can pray perfectly. And so if we pray in English only, we are limited to our human knowledge only. And you'll only be able to pray for things that you know for. But if you pray in the spirit, you could be praying for your friend in Timbuktu. You could be praying for your friend around the world. You could be praying for something you don't even know you need. You could be praying for your future. You could be praying for something that you might be fearful of, but God will remove those fears from you. And how Jesus said that he who believes in me out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And God gave me a picture of what happens when you pray in tons once because I was praying in tons in the car and I just got so happy. And that's what happened like an hour ago too. Um, when you pray in tons, you keep the river flowing and you just get happy. The river will clear away any debris. And it got to the point where I'm just like, <laughs> um, kind of laughing giddily. Like if someone were to pass by me, they probably would think I'm insane. But speaking of looking insane, God's word says, if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. But if we are of sound mind, it's for you. And I just heard it preached that that verse is actually talking about like when you are giddy and happy and full of the Holy Spirit, you kind of look beside yourself. You kind of look like a maniac. And I've had that before. Well, I'm just like, I was walking outside the plane because like I work, uh, I work on the flight line and, um, I was walking outside the plane, just, you know, pray, praying in tongues for a little bit, just cause I had a bit of spare time. I think that's why Paul says praying at all times in the spirit, but I was praying in tongues and I just started to laugh. I'm like, Whoa, I feel amazing. This is great. <laughs> and just, I remember, um, I was far away enough from people so they didn't see me. And then like the more I pray in the spirit, the more I just effortlessly love people because God's word says you keep yourself in the love of God. And like when I went back inside to continue my work, I was looking at people and I'm just like, oh, life is great. I love you. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> I can't wait to bless someone. I want to be nice to someone because like the joy of God's heart, the joy of God's love was just bubbling and flowing and out of me. So yes, it's a great gift. <laughs> but um... I can't remember where I was going with that. Life is great. God makes life great. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you a verse about what happens more when you pray in tongues. You are praying the hidden wisdom of God. You are praying wisdom into your situation. And the Holy Spirit makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. So the Holy Spirit knows exactly what caused the problem in your life. The Holy Spirit knows just what the problem needs to be resolved. And... um. Yeah, he gives life to your mortal bodies. The Holy Spirit who is in you gives life to your mortal bodies. And um, I find that the more I pray in tongues, like the more alive I look, like color goes to my cheeks. It keeps me on. <laughs> but um, yeah, here, here it is. Here's a verse for you. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor the rulers, nor the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. God's word says he who's praising in tongues speaks mysteries. The hidden wisdom of God, which, which God ordained before the ages for our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew. None of the rulers of this age knew. For had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. And those who love God are those who are called according to his purpose. This is what love is. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us. And he gave his son to be the, the atoning sacrifice for all of our sins. So God's love in you is contagious. It will cause you to love other people. But you don't need to make it happen. God's spirit makes it happen. You have God's spirit and the fruit of the spirit is love. So it's all effortless. So you know how it says eye has not seen, right? Nor has ear heard. It seems unreachable as if it's never going to be accessible to us. But God's word says in the following verse, but God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. <laughs> yeah. And it goes on to say like the spirit knows the things of God and we've received that spirit. So we know we might know the things which are freely given to us of God. 
So the more you pray in tongues, the more you see all the good things that God has for you, the more your eyes are opened to all the goodness that God has for you and is already supplying in your life. I hope that encouraged you. God has it all for you. You will not lack with him. You can't lose with him. So peace.